Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 18th of July, 2011. 46 years ago this day, the Zond 3 satellite was launched. It took some spectacular pictures of the far side of the moon, like the one shown here. Today's trivia question is, what target was it actually aimed at? The answer will be given at the end. We can see from the GOES X-ray plot there's only been a few minor B flares. However, the X-ray background is now up to the B3 level, which at least is a promising sign. We find there's still a lot of activity as far as sunspot regions are concerned. The region that's been growing rapidly near the northwest limb has been now numbered 1257. Region 1250 and 1251 are large single spots. Both region 1252 and 1255 are back again. Region 1256 is still there and has maybe grown a little bit. And region 1254 continues to show slow but steady growth. There's a new region coming over the northeast limb which hasn't been numbered yet, but that was showing some activity, at least according to the coronal movies. The sunspot and magnetic movies from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory show that the regions are generally stable and not changing very much, apart from that region in the northwest. And so that's why I think we have had relatively calm conditions for the last 24 hours. The Helium-304 transition region movie is anything but calm and quiet. We've had multiple eruptions from various parts of the sun. See if you can catch them all and then I'll show three movies of some of them in more detail. First we have a wispy cloud erupting off the northwest limb. And if you look carefully at the end of the sequence, there's a big surge from the region just below it. Next off the southwest limb we have a similar sort of eruption. You can see this twisted set of loops arcing high up into the corona. Last but not least we have this weird set of loops. They seem to come out of this region on the northeast limb, arc back towards the surface but then suddenly turn away again and go back up into the corona. Weird. In the low temperature coronal movie, the first look in the northeast where that new region coming over the northeast limb is showing quite a bit of um, dynamic activity. I you to pay particular attention to the northern part of the coronal hole in the western hemisphere. You will see that it disappears steadily as the region in front of it develops. I've made a more detailed movie of it so you can see it more clearly. You can see how the region slowly encroaches into the coronal hole. What's happening here is the open field lines in the coronal hole are connecting back to this region and brightening so the hole effectively is destroyed. The Soho Coronagraph data is still having problems with the software, but there is enough data available just to show a beautiful coronal mass ejection off of the west limb, probably associated with one of the eruptions I showed you earlier. The ACE data shows that there has been a sudden increase in the temperature and the speed of the solar wind, but the density has remained relatively constant. The Arctic Auroral Zone doesn't seem to be very agitated at the moment, and the KP index has been varying between 0 and 3, which is considered quiet. So in summary then, the X-ray background has risen to the B3 level, the sunspot number has increased to 101, the radio sun intensity has increased to 104, the solar wind speed has increased to 475 kilometers per second, with a density of about 6 protons per cubic centimeter. Geospace conditions remain quiet. So I'm going to have to upgrade my 24 hour forecast. The chance of C flares is good, the chance of M flares is poor, and we have a very remote possibility of getting X flares. The sunspot number will remain high, the chance of getting CMEs will remain high, the solar wind speed should go higher, but the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is relatively poor. In the longer term, the region that came over the northeast limb yesterday proved somewhat of a pleasant surprise. And there's a very similar region another day behind the East Limb. So maybe we'll have another active region come over the East Limb tomorrow. If you'd like to know more about what's going on in the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. The answer to today's trivia question is Mars. Zond 3 was supposed to be going to Mars, but it missed its launch window. So the Russians launched it anyway, just as a test. But as an exercise as part of that test, they took pictures of the moon. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.